Okay, first sweep tool, go to 3D. How to use sweep tool? This is sweep tool. Uh, if you have a line, then after this, you have to join. J is the shortcut to join. J enter, select all, enter. Then you create a rectangle here. Here, you need to snap it. Then if you do sweep, select it, enter, then select this rail. Then you see, I changed to conceptual. This is actually sweep. Sweep can be possible with, if you go to line, you can see spline fit and spline CV. There are two types of curves. Spline fit, you know, it's gonna create like this, switch off ortho. Okay, freehand drawing. Spline CV means it's also creating the same way, but you see the control points are here. That's a difference, but both are fine to sweep. You can choose circle, snap over here, choose uh, sweep option, sweep option, select this, enter, then select this path, repeat. Sweep, select the circle, enter, then this path. And there's some mistake. Let's try to snap again, sweep, select enter then this if it's not snap proper there is chance to get mistake here sweep this one enter and this and the path this is sweep tool okay this we're going to use it in a staircase so the first how to make normal staircase so let me change my units decimal zero zero centimeters okay and D enter dimension, modify decimal zero zero. Okay, close it. Now, one step I'm going to create my length is uh, one meter, hundred centimeter. In the width I'm doing 30 centimeter, height I'm doing a 13 or 12 centimeter. Then we do copy, select all, pick this point to next here. You can copy like this how many stairs you need. The first step's value is correct. Then all you can get it like this. And this is a landing here. So I want to make this one one meter maybe. And to this side also, I'm going to make it to one meter, 100 centimeter. Then do copy of this again. From this point down to here and to up here, up, up, goes like this. Then if you have wall, you need to extend the wall. Copy of this to here. The wall you can create in the back side also. This normal staircase is very easy, just copy paste only. Okay. Then how to make spiral staircase? Spiral staircase. For that, you need to go to you need to go to 2D first. So go to 2D from here, drafting and annotation. Then the first steps you are creating. A small circle here, a small circle here, then a big circle, same center point, we have a big circle. Draw a line from the center, switch on ortho, trim tool, cut here and here. Use polar array, select, enter, click on the midpoint, numbers are tools items are 12 enter now this is an polar array so this polar array you can see this is a group so what i need i need to get a shape like this only to get a shape like this we are using boundary option from here boundary how to work boundary for example i have a circle here I have a circle here i want to get this shape separate so i use boundary boundary and use pick point and pick inside here enter now even you can see 
there is a new shape also creating and the old shape also will be there in the same place. If I delete the old one from here, you understand? New shape is there. But the problem both stay on the same place, it will overlap it and it's difficult to select it. So when you do this one, old one, you keep it in another layer and the new one, keep it in the new layer. So it's easy for us to switch off or lock. So here I'm gonna use this same method. I want to use boundary to get the shapes. So first I create a layer from here, new layer, names is okay. Don't need to say. Yeah, I already have a layer, so I'm gonna use that layer, okay? I already have a layer, otherwise you create a layer and change the color, that's all. Then I'm gonna select this all and move to that layer which I created. I'm sorry, I had uh, something. Yeah, delete that. I had something before. Okay. Let me go to layer. Let me create, delete this layer. I'll show you. Oh, there is some element there. That's why I'm not able to delete. Okay. I'll do with the new layer. We create a new layer. The new layer color I'm going to choose to yellow color. Okay. Then I'm going to select this all drawing. Move to this yellow. Okay, why I'm giving a color because it's easy to understand. Then I need to stay on zero. So remember, I move everything on layer two. If I switch off, you understand. Okay, this all are here. You can ignore this layer for time being. Okay, this one. We have only two layer, this la yellow one and zero. So I'm staying on the zero. Then I'm using boundary option. Then pick point, click here one by one like this. So it's creating everywhere new shapes. Now both are overlapped. You can see some places white, yellow, and all. So you can go here, switch off your old layer. It's very easy, but you need to stay on zero now, okay? Switch off your old layer. Now you can see only the new shape is there. There is no old shape over there. Now to make handrail, I'm gonna keep a small circle also here. Then do polar array, select it, and click on the midpoint here. Give the same number, how much you given for the steps. I given 12, that's why I'm gonna keep here also 12. This is an array, so this is a group. I want to explode it. So click on explode button. So I get it individually one by one. Then go to 3D from here, 3D basics. Then click on extrude first. Extrude first, this all circles, you're going to extrude it. One, two, like this, one by one, I'm gonna select it. This all circle for rail, I have selected. End and move up. You see the height, how much you need, you can give. I'm doing without measurement for time being. Extrude. So click extrude, then height. I'm just uh, ignoring the height for time being. Okay, you can use with the measurement. Just showing you the design only. Then extrude, select this all, enter. Then you move this one down again, the height of the steps also, you give it like this. Then use move tool, M enter. Select these two shapes, enter. From this point to this point. Again, move tool. This two, enter, you need to move to here. Move tool, select, you need to hit enter. Then one by one, you need to move up like this. Move tool, this two here, here, enter, this point to this point. And then ensure that you're not making any mistakes while you're snapping. Like, you know, if there's a chance to snap to somewhere else also, so ensure you're not making any mistake on the snapping. One by one, when you move it, when, you, when you're copying, ensure you are rotating also your viewport so you can reach to the same angle. Select this both, move up, and we are almost done. Two more remaining, done. And last one, keep here to here, now we done. If you want to get copy of this all, you can just copy of all, then take from this point to this point again. So you can continue this one if you want. Okay, but we don't need, we need only one row. Then I'm gonna select a cylinder from here. 
cylinder, you need to go here. You see, keep your mouse pointer on here, mouse point on this border, then it will show you the midpoint here. Then create a cylinder top to get in the center portion. Now to make handrail, we're choosing from here, spline fit and click on this here. You need to ensure you switch on your 3DO snap and inside center of face. Okay, then you can click easily inside, but ensure again, you see it, it, it shows some mistakes, but you can ignore it. You click on the center point and continue. And once you finish it, the line will come exactly on that support now. Now you take a circle, okay? If you try to draw from this angle like this, you, there is a lot of sand to you know, snap here and there. So safe side, you move your viewport like to outside. There is nothing over here. So it is safe to click on this midpoint and ensure your radius of it. Then do sweep, select this circle, enter, and you can click on this. You can call this circle as a profile and this line as rail. So profile and rail. And you see even the real world also, when you're joining, there will be some mistake. You can hide it with a small sphere. Perfect. So this is the way we are creating staircase. Inshallah.